Hello, Capricorn. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you for being here again. Let's get into it, Capricorn. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. So, Capricorn, it looks like our one card that we're starting off with. Well, this is going to be a one card reading. Um, the Knight of Wands. All right, so what I'm getting is like um, at the bottom of the deck is a hierophant. So it's like somebody's trying to, these are two polar opposites. It's funny because the knights are under the direction of the hierophant, whether that be good or bad. Direction of the hierophant, it could, you know, we, we talk about spirituality. We talk about governance. We talk about law, order, regimen, rule, striction routine um but the knight of wands is you know kind of carefree doing their own thing all over the place does what they want is in situations as long as they can get what they want and then they move on they might even come back they might even resurface um you know they might even trace their tracks back to whatever or to whomever but it looks like here capricorn you or somebody you're involved with is trying to govern themselves accordingly they're trying to get more governance over themselves and maybe their desires because the wands are about desires motivation inspiration so it's like somebody's trying to get more structure on these impulses uh the impulsivity the the desires the going after the conquering the knight of wands is the you know the person who feels like they can do anything the invincibility of a person uh, the attractiveness of a person. So this is someone who feels like, okay, well, you know, um, I want to have sex with this person. I want to do this. I want to go travel. I want to. Somebody's trying to get in control. This could even be someone, you, Capricorn, or the other person trying to get in control of their spending habit habits. Also, somebody's spending habits could be kind of upset all over the place. So someone's trying to get in control of spending habit. Number one. And then number two, it could even be sexuality. Like someone's sexuality, it could be kind of fluid. It could be, you know, bisexual pain. I don't know. All you know, and it's nothing against I just don't know. Someone's sexuality could be kind of um, you know, changing or ever changing. It's getting to whomever this is, though. They feel like it's an issue. And that's why with the moon card showing up at one of the bottom of the decks, yep. Somebody feels like it's an issue because it talks about the the lying to oneself and lying to others. So this could even be somebody who's not out of the closet, if you will, firstly. And then secondly, this could be somebody who engages in taboo, you know, uh, sexual encounters or one-offs or uh, one-night stands or uh, pro promiscuity. This is somebody who is uh, has some deep emotions but they bury them, repress them. This could even be like somebody who is promiscuous due to something happen, happening to them in the past. The emotions surrounding what happened to them in the past could have been somebody who was touched or, you know, um, molested or taken advantage of or, you know, um, graped. Um, could be someone uh, who had dealt with that. And it's like they're trying to be strong enough to move past it whatever moving past it looks like whether it is oh i'm going to come out as a homosexual pansexual whatever or i want to be heterosexual whatever it may be it's like somebody's trying to get a grasp a hold on who they are what they like and present themselves accordingly it's like somebody is definitely trying to use spirituality to try to figure this all out or trying to govern themselves, like trying to suppress also maybe even their desires, their emotions, their, their, what they may even deem as demons. They're trying to suppress their demons, their very chaotic, um, flighty type of uh, behavior in and out, off and on, hot and cold, here for one night, gone the next. I'll be back doing my thing it's so funny because this man looks like he has breasts but it's a man so maybe somebody is trying to come to terms with maybe if they're going to be trans um 
if they like women or men, I don't know, you know, uh, but it's like someone's trying to really figure it out and they're trying to use spirituality to, I don't know if they're trying to pray the gay away, pray with it. I don't know. I don't know. I know started itching. So that might be true of what someone else is trying to do, but it's like, but more than that, somebody needs this card is showing up healing. They need to heal from the past. Something happened in the past. Someone needs to heal from the past. Okay. And not put it off. This could even be like showing up in somebody, again, spending habits, just wanting to have all these luxury items or wanting to have all these things because of something that happened to you or not really delving down on the real issue. It's like, I want people to look at me for this reason and not for the frail, hurt human being that I am, or I want them to see that. So you've got some of that going on here, Capricorn. For yourself or someone that you're involved with if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website book your own reading there readings are 40 percent off four zero off at the checkout at checkout use that code um i'm live every tuesday thursday and sunday night at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time and if you took something from the reading you can always give back you could buy me a coffee the link is below thank you capricorn many blessings to you Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one, and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.